Well, plenty of cloud cover, cold temperatures as we went through the day today, and we're just going to see more of it here as we go through the next few days. In fact, maybe Friday will give us a chance to see a peak of sunshine or two, but until then, it's going to be rather gray around here. I'm going to meet you over at the weather wall as we take a live look at our Weatherbug Network camera, this one from downtown Toledo overlooking the mighty Maumee, and it's this backdrop that I will use to introduce today's weather kid. Come on out, Maddie. This is... This is Maddie Travis. Maddie Travis, and he goes to Wayne Trail Elementary, mm -hmm. right? And so you're from Mommy, that means then. Yep. Awesome to meet you, man. Hey, uh, I tell you what we're going to do here. We're going to let you kind of take the first part of our weather segment and just kind of control the whole thing. So everybody give it up at home for Maddie. Maddie's going to walk us through this first part. It's our live look over downtown Toledo. What do we see? So it is a very cloudy and cold day, but um, the river's still nice. The river's still nice. It's not frozen yet, right? So that's a good thing. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some different things here. First thing we're going to look at, some of the high temperatures today. So in Defiance, uh -huh. the high today was 37. Uh -huh. In Fremont, in Fremont, whatever, it was 37. <laughs> and in... Oregon, or Monroe, it was 33, and that's the current temperature now, too. Now we're looking at some current temperatures. Tell people what it's like out there right now. In Adrian, it's 33. In Defiance, it is 32. And in Van Wert, it was 31. 31 degrees. Now we've got that wind out there, and that's still up, so tell people about those wind chills out there. So with the wind chill, it was 29. Mm-hmm. In Adrian with wind chill, it is 23. Uh huh. And in Norwalk with the wind chill, it was 28. 28. That's an awesome job, man. You did a great job going through your first part. We appreciate it. Anybody at home you want to say hi to? I want to say <laughs> hi to my best friend, Nate. Nate. So you got some bonus points with Nate now, huh? Yeah. Cool. Awesome <laughs> deal. All right, man. Nice job. Go ahead and park over there. I'll take it from here. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at Triple Doppler Radar. Maddie did an awesome job. As we look around the area, not much going on in our area just yet. But we are watching back to our west for some snow showers to start to build up and head our way. What you see over parts of lower Michigan at this point, that's true lake effect snow showers. But as we get back toward uh, just to the north of the Chicago area, uh, just to the west of Milwaukee, this is a little bit of a trough of low pressure that's trying to swing through behind the system that went through yesterday. As this rotates across our area after midnight tonight, we might see a few snow showers or snow flurries, so don't be alarmed. It's nothing that's going to accumulate just yet, but what that is doing is preceding that next punch of cold air that's coming in back to our west, so be prepared. Yes, it's been cold, but it's going to be getting colder as we head through tonight and the next couple of days. Here on our TrueView forecast, you can see that there's plenty of cloud cover still in play here, and as we go overnight, we start to see the chance for a couple of snow showers. Those chances will will continue into the day on Thursday. But again, if you add up what we get tonight and through the day tomorrow, it's still not enough to really consider uh, to be an accumulation just yet. I think we're going to hold off on that until we get into parts of the upcoming weekend when we'll see another system rotate through the Great Lakes. Until then, plenty of cloud cover, some peaks of sun on Friday, but not a lot of it, and the cold just kind of hangs in there. Going through the rest of tonight, Cloudy and cold conditions. We'll see a chance for some flurries through the overnight hours. And as we mentioned, it gets a lot colder. Down in the low 20s, waking up tomorrow morning. Cloudy and breezy for the day on Thursday. Some off and on snow showers. Still not anything that's going to accumulate. High temperatures there will be in the mid-30s. Now, as we go into Friday... There's that program break we were talking about. Most of Saturday stays dry as well. But into Saturday night overnight and into the day Sunday, that next system may be our first accumulating snow. Now, kind of keep in mind that when we say accumulating from a meteorological standpoint, that's a tenth of an inch of snow or more, so really just enough to dust off the grass, but that's what we're expecting overnight Saturday into the day on Sunday, and then as we go into Monday, we're still in that cool regime. We stay there through the following work week. Toward next weekend, I've got two different long-range models now that are hinting at a warm-up, but at a warm-up, we're talking maybe low mid-40s, if you <laughs> can consider that to be one and that would happen toward next weekend we'll keep an eye on that we'll take every degree we can get Norm. Uh, there you go maddie you. did an awesome job we'll see you again job, you're maddie. coming up Very later nice. in the show